much money not to have fun, and that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna party like it's 1999. I'm gonna party like it's my occupation to have a good time, but here you come, yelling all loud in my ear. Excuse me, you stepped on my homegirl shoes. So what? I said excuse me twice. So what's what? that crowding in here? Now, uh you stepped on my homegirl shoes, and you've been doing it all night. Well, sis, if you and your homegirl were standing in the middle of the dance floor acting like chaperones at a teen dance, maybe I wouldn't step on your homegirl shoes. Time to think about it. Why you got so much to say? I got so oh, much to say. You, you must be that ugly friend, creating ugly all friend. different types of drama, making ugly more friend. noise than the alleged victim, and you got the nerve to have dreads, yes. locks. Yes. So I, I say, peace, sis. I'm all about the non-violence. Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, one love mine, and you say, fuck a dread. This ain't about no goddamn dread. Fuck a dread? What? Yes, fuck a dread. I should have known you say that. Your locks are looking extra white today. You got them bleached out, curled, and crimped, making me realize you're the type of sister that only locked your hair because that was the only way your bald head bald. ass could grow bald some hair. Standing there acting like you're too cute to dance in the club, but the only thing cute about you are those twelve dollar pay less shoes hey. you're breathing all hard on my oh, neck, your breath no. humming oh, like in the choir. Why don't you step back, hold out your hands, and try and catch the drops of knowledge my locks are perspiring? Cause if you don't, there's about to be two dreads fighting in the club! Two dreads fighting in the club? How ridiculous! I swear locks have become the new Jerry Curl. It used to be like, peace, sis, I'm happy, I'm nappy. But nowadays it's fuck a dread, perma dread, dire dread. Next week you'll be saying free? Don't you know you can't let out? Come on, sister, why don't you get some culture beyond burning incense, writing poetry, and having natural hair? You're standing there looking like Uncle Tom's niece dressed up in a side of Shakur's wardrobe when all I came to do was have a good time with my homegirl whose perm is ten times more natural than you and your locks know your dreadful dreads could ever be. But if I left my good time up to you, I swear there'd be two dreads fighting in the club. Two dreads fighting in the club. How ridiculous. How ridiculous. So, sister, just relax a little bit. Maybe loose it up. Maybe shake off that ignorant ass dread weave on your head. Because even though it's growing out your scalp, it's still as fake and fading as your self esteem. Why don't you stop and think? Because I know you're embarrassing your mother. She can't believe she donated her eggs to the ignorant ass Negro fund. So, let's just relax. Have a good time before there's two dreads fighting in the club. And we both end up looking ridiculous.